Today we are going to be learning about the atomic structure. By the end of this video clip, you should be able to state the relative charges and relative masses of a proton, a neutron, and an electron, and describe the structure of an atom. Chemistry is the study of matter. Matter is all around us, big and small, such as the buildings you see, to the small insects, and even us as people. All these buildings that we see, we know that they are made out of bricks, which can be seen with our naked eye. For living things, we are made out of different cells which can be seen under the microscope. If we were to zoom in 10 billion times on all of these, we will find out that it is made out of small particles called atoms. Now how did this word atom come about? Back in the olden days, all the way back to 450 BCE, atom came from the Greek word atomos, which means unbreakable. Take an aluminium foil and tear it into small pieces until it reaches a point where you cannot tear it any further. This small piece of aluminium foil is still many times larger than the size of an atom. So, just how small are atoms? Earlier we discussed that all matter is made out of atoms. So, if we look at an apple, we know that it is made out of atoms. Let us imagine that the size of just one atom from the apple is equivalent to the size of a raisin. Then, the size of the apple must be equal to the size of the earth. What have we learned so far? 1. Atom as a basic unit of matter, just like how a Lego structure is made out of many small Lego pieces. 2. Atoms are extremely, extremely, extremely small. Now that we have learned this, let's just stop and think about it. What are these tiny particles called atoms really made up of? Now let's take a look at a regular brick. Magnify it by 10 billion times, we are able to see that it's made up of many atoms. So now let's magnify it even further and see what is inside just one atom. Here's a magnified view of one atom. It is not a perfect representation of what an atom would look like, but it's close enough for right now. Now the center of the atom, we have the nucleus. It is made up of two types of particles. Protons, represented by blue circles, and neutrons as red circles. And around the nucleus, we have black circles which represent electrons. Now how about their electric charges? Protons have a positive charge of plus one. Neutrons do not have a charge at all. Electrons on the other hand have a negative charge of minus one. Now just by looking at the diagram, electrons are connected to these oval paths. These are drawn in to show that they are constantly moving around the nucleus at an incredibly high speed, whereas the nucleus remains in the middle of the atom. Now here is something to think about. What is between the nucleus and the electrons? This shall be answered during class tomorrow. Now we're going to talk about the relative mass of protons, neutrons and electrons. By comparing the mass of a proton and a neutron, the mass of a proton relative to the mass of a neutron is approximately 1 is to 1. Now how does the mass of a proton compare to the mass of an electron? An electron's mass is much less than the mass of a proton. How much less? The mass of one proton is relative to the mass of 1840 electrons. The mass of electron is so small, weighing only a tiny fraction of how much a proton and neutron weigh. Because of this, they do not have much influence on the total weight of the atom. Hence, it is considered negligible. Think about it. When you weigh yourself on a weighing scale, do you take into consideration the weight of your earrings? No, because it is insignificant as compared to your weight. So let's now do a quick recap of what we've learned. Number one, atoms are the building blocks of matter. Two, atoms are really, really small. Three, the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons, while electrons move rapidly around the nucleus. And last but not least, let's look at the subatomic particles. Protons have a relative charge of plus one and relative mass of one. Neutrons have no relative charge at all, but has a relative mass of one. And last but not least, electrons. It has a relative charge of minus 1 and has a relative mass of 1 over 1840.